What's up guys, welcome back to another Dap Bass Mad video here today. So today's video is actually gonna be which one could catch more snakeheads or even a snakehead. I actually never caught a snakehead. I kinda wanna catch one, but they're super invasive in Florida. So that's what this video is gonna be about. So we're so as the title you guys are seeing, which one catch more snakeheads or even a snakehead? A zoom frog, which I only have one of, and a strike king frog, which I have a whole like bag of them so look here's the rules so the zoom worm i'm mean, not a zoom worm the zoom frog so if i lose that zoom frog i'm screwed because that's my only one and the strike kings i just got yesterday so i have a whole bag of them so if the zoom if this, i'm like i keep on saying zoom worms i'm just so addicted to saying zoom worms so if the zoom win i mean zoom loses if i like, cast it off or even a snakehead takes it off then Striking obviously takes the lead, but it doesn't win until it catches at least one fish. Like at that point, it's gonna be first one to catch fish. Like whatever is one left. So you guys are probably seeing this by Saturday or Sunday. I I haven't left to set, uh South Florida yet because I just packed and I don't feel like doing the intro over there because. I'm probably not gonna feel like it and I just wanna get straight to fishing. So I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time just doing an intro over there. But I might do it for the next two videos. And oh yeah, trust me, we're gonna have some good content when we go down there. I'm staying down down there for like two to three days, I'm pretty sure. I can't stay there for long because down here in Central Florida our school just started August tenth. It's like August is it August twenty fourth? I'm guessing it's August twenty fourth right now. And South Florida, they just started their school like last week, um August eighteenth. Man, my school just started August 10th, which I just said I'm in Central Florida right now. So I'll see you guys when we get to the car. I'm thinking that we take just everything in my uh, tackle box. I'm definitely bringing these. Oh yeah, these two are gonna be for also for another video. And this is what the Strike King frogs look like. This is what it is. And then the zoo frog, I already hooked it up because that's gonna be our first thing we're gonna use this video. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna be using this rod. It's really, I've almost landed a bunch of, oh yeah, I've almost landed a bunch of snake heads on that bait. I, I just got the Strike Kings just yesterday, so I couldn't really do anything. And yesterday, since I ripped the hell out of my five foot cast net, I actually got a new one. It's in this bag, cause I don't know how to rewrap it up and put it in a box. So I just rather put it in a trash bag, but it's a six foot cast net, guys. We're gonna also do another video with that in South Florida as well. So um, that'll be crazy. So I'll see you when we start packing everything up. Our way to Fort Lauderdale right now. We're done packing. I think my dad has to go just walk the dogs real quick. I'm in the car, everything's packed up. So we're like two hours away from the location where I'm gonna be staying at. It's my cousin's house. I really wanna see him because I legit barely get to see him anymore because I don't live down there anymore. It's kind of sad, but me and my, it's like my favorite cousin. I love to hang out with them. So. I'll see you when we get to the next pit stop or whatever, wherever we stop. So see you in the next one. I mean, not next one. See you in the next pit stop. All right, guys, we just stopped at Fort Pierce just for a little Burger King. And I just came across this weird looking iguana. It's like black and orange. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. guys, we're like 44 minutes away from this spot. We're like in like Palm Beach, I think, or Coral Springs, I'm gonna say. And we're already gonna get like already sunset we're near some canals and all that so i'll see you when we get there guys we're already here at the house this is my this is my cousin sam this is where we're gonna be staying the night and he might be my cameraman because i just record by myself got the fishing rod i'm obviously not gonna fish here because i won't get eaten by a gator so i'll i'm gonna be fishing tomorrow so i'll see you tomorrow morning guys it's like 12 o'clock in the morning like not morning night and I'm really tired, so I'll see you probably 5 to 6 in the morning. So I'll put a timer at like 5 to 6 for snakehead fishing. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Guys, it's like 8 in the morning right now. And we're going to get start fishing if I can find my fishing pole. Guys, th there's a baby spotted tilapia right here. Guys, I'm trying to knit him. See if I can get him. At the canal, I'm using the zoom frog first. And so we're going to keep on walking down the canal. I just took a couple casts. I'm going to be keep on casting and then I'll see if I get a bite or get or not get a bite. There's a whole school of Mayan cichlids. Those are all Mayan cichlids. That's crazy. All right, we're going to keep on walking down. Got one. It was right at shore, guys. 
Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at him. Oh God, he's going crazy. These things are so bad. Guys, this is my first ever... Oh, shoot. This is my first ever snakehead, mind you guys. Guys, look at this. Look at that snakehead, guys. Look at that. Just gonna try and take a screenshot. Oh my god. Alright guys, I'm gonna give him a good release. Uh, so yeah, see ya. Still have him on. So. Alright. It's gonna be kinda hard. Oh! It's another one! Oh yeah! Guys, another snakehead. Second one today. I gotta get the hook out. I got to run over to the house that's like right over there because this is this hook is not getting out of the mouth. So see you when I get the uh, pliers. We got the um we cut the line, but the hook it's it's like stuck on its tongue. Oh my god, there's a bee. And my mom feels horrible even though these things ruin the ecosystem ecosystem or however you guys say it. So my mom's running inside to go get some pliers. I already snapped the line. I got the frog still, so we can't be too mad. So we, um, it's already been an hour. Well, not an hour, like maybe like 30 minutes with, um, what's it called? Uh, zoom frog. So we're like just gonna do an extra 30 minutes and then see how we do. So my mom should be running inside. Guys, look how big this snakehead is. I feel horrible at the same time. But people euthanize it. Oh my God, I almost fell in the water. That would've been horrible. So my mom's running to go get some pliers and then this guy will be free to go. Guys, we didn't get the hook out of its mouth, but we just cut the line, threw it back in because the line was, the hook just was way too back and it would not open his mouth. So we had to release it with its mouth, uh, with the hook in his mouth. So I'm like really hot. It's like almost over, I'm passed out over there. So I'm just gonna stay in here for like maybe the next 20 minutes and then I'll go back out there and then I'll probably go switch to the striking and I have to tie another hook on. Oh, I don't feel like tying another hook. All right, so I'll see you in 30 minutes. Yo, Matthew, I think you got something. Yeah. Bro, I just put my rod down. Bro, I just put, you just saw that too, right? Yeah, bro, oh my God. Oh God, it's in the plants. Uh oh. Ugh. Come on, you got this. I think it's a snake. Oh, no, it's a... Oh, oh my God, it's a bass. That, uh, that was not... Ex I was not expecting a bass. I was actually expecting a big snake. Head. God damn. Hey, Matthew, what are you going to do with it? All right, now we're going to release it. Look how fat. I've never seen this. It's like so fat, but it's so tiny at the same time. Bro, shit. Okay. You're going right. to release it? Backflip. Okay. That was fat. All right, guys. So I was over there fishing for a little bit with the, um, what's it called? I forgot what the frog was, but not the zoom frog. Oh, Strike King, yeah, with the Strike King frog. And I snagged onto this dead snake head. I know it's not the one bef bef from before because there's no hook in its mouth. So we're gonna have to, um, we're not gonna end the video. I think, wait, should this count as a fish? Yeah, it should. Nice. So I, it's a tiebreaker. We can pr re probably record a part two of catching snakeheads tomorrow. So I'll see you in the next one. Cabal, bound.